Oh, hello. My name is Pastor Jim, and uh, my family and I moved to Sheepshead Bay on August 1st, 1996, and we all knew that we were in for a great adventure. One of the reasons uh, that we came is because we wanted to give the gospel, but we wanted to practice the gospel the way that Romans chapter 1 and verse 16 says, and that is that the gospel is to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. And so we wanted to practice a gospel that was to the Jew especially, but also to the Gentile equally. And I can say that uh, we have seen God's hand of uh, blessing from the very beginning. I'm thankful for just the, the many ways in which he has worked in people's lives, ours included, but also his faithful provision from the storefront across the street from our present facilities. We've seen God just supply our needs in amazing ways. I also uh, would say that my wife and I are just delighted to be part of a loving congregation like we have here at Bethel. I'm thankful for the people that he has brought to help us to actually start this church. From uh, Brother Clark and Linda Micklethwaite, later uh, Brother Craig Hartman and uh, his wife Lori, uh, all of us were together in the planting of Bethel Baptist Fellowship. I think one of the greatest joys that we have had as a church is to be instrumental in seeing several congregations that have been planted or started as a result of Bethel's ministry, which reminds me of the name of this church. We got the name Bethel from Jacob's experience in Genesis chapter 28 and verse 16 when he awakes from that dream, Jacob's ladder, and he says, surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And from that point on, we have wanted Bethel to just replicate that, to be a place where God's presence is really felt. And uh, that really impacts not only the present, but our future vision as well, which is that we would see God do a reviving work in his people here at Bethel, and that that would impact our neighbors and beyond. I think also I would uh, conclude by saying it's just been a, a real joy to see God continue the work here uh, and anticipate what he might have uh, in store for the future as well. It's always been our desire as a church to be able to own our own land and building. And we believe as a result of just praying and trusting God that that's gonna be a reality. And I'm reminded of the, a verse in Jeremiah in which he says, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hello, I'm Nancy Bickle, and I'm Pastor Bickle's wife, and our family moved here in 1996, and we came here with six children, and um, at first it was uh, a little daunting, but I am so thankful that the Lord has seen fit to have me invest the best part of my life here in Sheepshead Bay. As I think of um, Bethel Baptist Fellowship, and I was going through pictures from the past and many, many pictures. There were people that aren't here anymore, people who have gone on to be with the Lord and are with Him in heaven. And yet there are many pictures of people who are still here and who have been faithfully serving the Lord and have stuck through this church through thick and thin, through difficult times, through easy times. And it just reminded me of God's plan for the church. The Apostle Paul talked in 1 Corinthians 12 about how the church is a body 
and it has many parts, just as our bodies have hands and a head and feet. And so it is with the church, and every part is important. And just thinking about how everyone plays a role just really came to, to my mind. And, and that's how it is so true of Bethel Baptist Fellowship. And when one part of the body suffers or one part of the body rejoices, so does the same thing happen here at Bethel. One part of our family is hurting, then we hurt with them. I'm so thankful that the Lord has brought us here and that the last 25 years have not been a waste of my life. I have a prayer that the next generation will continue to occupy and take up the mantle and continue on with Bethel Baptist Fellowship so that we can see the light of the gospel continue on here and that will occupy till Jesus should come. Hi, I'm Pastor Dan Hyden. I'm Sherry. And we are in charge of Russian Bethel, the church here. In 1999, we went to Siberia as missionaries to work with missionary family. Uh, and then later on, there was a single missionary who came to work with us and her name was Margaret. And Margaret was actually supported by this church, Bethel. Uh, in 2003, the Russian government made us leave the country and we came back to the United States, assuming that the Lord would send us to another Russian-speaking place somewhere overseas. Instead, he motivated Margaret uh, to give us a phone call and tell us about the Russian population here in New York and that Bethel Baptist Fellowship wanted to start a Russian church to meet them, uh, to, to help them. Uh, so we contacted Pastor Bickle and we came out here to see for ourselves. And by the time that small trip was over, we were convinced that the Lord wanted us here. Uh, so we started having services in August of 2004. So this year, when Bethel celebrates its 25th anniversary, Russian Bethel is celebrating its 20th. So when I think about what Bethel means to me, I think about what an amazing God we have. That back when we were first going to Russia in 1999, Bethel was being born here. And God was already preparing a place for our next ministry after we had to leave Russia. So it's incredible to me when I think about it, and Dan already mentioned it, that um, when Pickle heard that we were having to leave Russia suddenly, he said, I hope they don't have to leave, but they may be the answer um, to our prayer here. And Bethel was the answer to our prayer as well. We were asking the Lord, what do you have for us? What do you want to do with us? And it was here, Bethel, and it's a special place. I have a growing up in a um, facility. Uh, we had church in our apartment in Russia. We had church in our home in Russia. And we came here and I remember it was funny the first time I walked in, I was like, this is a church. <laughs> and um, it was pretty unique and it's a very special place. Um, and I'm, I'm so thankful that the Lord has brought us here and that this is our church family and ministry now. Hi, we are Craig and Lori Hartman. I remember when we first started coming here at Bethel, it was just a Bible study at the Micklethwaite's home. Now we are celebrating our 25th anniversary. It has been a privilege to be serving here at Bethel for that many years. I also am so thankful and blessed that we could go to a church that teaches and preaches the Bible without apology. Wow, 25 years. No, actually, it's 27 because we didn't organize until we were two years already holding services. Mm. It's amazing to think that all this time has passed. Well, it has been a blessing to serve, grow, and at Pastor Bickle's side, and to, through all these years of the various blessings and amazing things we've seen God do at this very unusual church, a church with a balance, I think, of seriousness and yet joy and love and we have some fun but but really solid teaching and and it's a real place of course for us it's uh, also a blessing to to know that this is the the home of shalom ministries and it's where we've based our ministry for all of these years and have been blessed uh, by god in ways that we've never expected um we could certainly go on and on um with all that bethel means to us and all that we've seen and and have uh, grown through and, and, and drawn closer to the Lord from. 
but <clears throat> it's best summed up in uh, in the verse that we use as our signature verse, Genesis 28:16. The Lord surely is in this place. Good afternoon, Bethel family. I'm so happy to be part of this day, even from far away. Uh, I'm Grant Hartman. Uh, Craig and Lori Hartman are my parents, for those of you who don't know me. And uh, I first came to Bethel 25 years ago, and even before that, when it started as a Bible study. And I was there for some of those, uh, for, for all of those first meetings and, and first services. I'll never forget the smell of the first service in the flower shop, how it smelled like a funeral. And uh, as a kid, not many things uh, remain in my memory from the time being a, being a seven-year-old. But I do remember with, with great joy and thankfulness those Sunday school times with with Mrs. M and the Patch the Pirate classes with Mrs. Bickle that formed the basis for my life. And through those, I came to know the Lord. And so I'm so thankful for Mrs. M and Mrs. Bickle for taking the time as when, when I was a child to teach me the Word of God faithfully. And uh, really, I, I, I think about it all the time here uh, throughout life as I see my kids with, with thanksgiving to God for, for their sacrifice in my life. And uh, I think the, the, the one thing about Bethel that I wanted to really praise the Lord for today uh, along with what I just said was that we have a history of 25 years without compromise that the word of God was preached from that pulpit and is continuing to be preached from that pulpit. We see so many churches and, and believers or so-called believers these days making all kinds of compromises on truth. And it's just such a blessing to know that the word of God without a single even ounce of compromise at any point in 25 years has ever, has ever taken place and so we can be thankful for that and praise the lord for his goodness and his faithfulness and in, in allowing that to be the case and so we thank the lord for for pastor bickle and his his sacrifice and and his commitment to to faithfulness to the word of god and i just praise the lord for that and pray that uh god will continue to use the pulpit at bethel to see many people come to know the lord and that the word of god will continue to be preached in sheepshead bay uh from that place for many years to come so I'm really thankful for Bethel for 25 years of faithful preaching of the Word of God that has formed my life and uh, brought me to where I am today as far as uh, knowing the Lord and, and my own love for the Word of God and for studying it that all was, was started uh, from the pulpit at Bethel. So really praise the Lord for His faithfulness in 25 years and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon and just wanted to leave one verse, the, the grass withers the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. We're just so thankful, and I'm so thankful for the word of God being preached from Bethel. Praise the Lord. My name is Linda Micklethwaite. I'm going to share with you a little bit of the history of our church since the beginning of our church. The Lord called Pastor Bickle and my husband, Clark, to start the church here in Sheepshead Bay. The Lord really impressed upon our hearts that uh, on Romans 1.16 that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And we had a real burden for Jewish people wanting to reach them with the gospel. Pastor Bickle was in New Jersey taking a course on how to reach people or how to reach the Jewish people for the Lord. My husband and I started having a Bible study in our home and they announced the Bible study on the radio where they had a little program on the radio where they would both take turns preaching and we presented to the audience that we were starting the Bible study in our home and we're planning on starting a church here in Sheepshead Bay. The first people to start coming to our Bible study was Debbie Kaya, who heard the message on the radio. And then we had Pedro and then the Hartmans came and joined us. And we got a core of people in our Bible study. So now it was time to start looking for a place to have the church. and. We were praying for this to take place. And in our Bible study, we had two Jewish, uns they were unsaved Jewish women who were coming to our Bible study. And why they were coming to a, a Gentile Bible study 
Only the Lord knows. He brought them. And uh, two ladies were walking across the street here from the church, and they saw a place for rent. And they told the pastors, and we checked into it. And the Lord just did miraculous things because the place across the street had been a flower shop that had been closed down because they were selling marijuana, which was illegal at the time. So, uh, and, uh, Jewish lady, Dr. Lyon, who was coming to our church, who had actually been praying for a church to start up right here where we're at. And God answered her prayers. As the church grew, we outgrew the little building across the street, and we start, Lord start opening doors for us to come here. And what is so amazing is how the Lord cleaned up the area. We had a place that was doing pornography. And then on the other side of the Chinese restaurant, a place was closed down that was a gambling place. So the Lord put us here and the gospel was being freely given to the Sariot here in Sheepshead Bay. We have seen the Lord do miraculous things over the years and we are so glad to say that we can be salt and light here in the community of Sheepshead Bay. We love the Lord, we teach the Word of God here, and we point people to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can truly say, the Lord is truly in this place. Hi, my name is uh, Pedro, this is my wife Mimi. Uh, we've been coming to Bethel probably since the beginning. Uh, we've been here 27 years. Uh, when we first started coming to church, we were newly married, and it, it's a mixed family, so we had older children already. And we thank the Lord that uh, all of our children accepted the Lord here at this church, and we're also saved at this church. And uh, we ourselves, we, uh, we've grown uh, as Christians. We've developed uh, spiritual gifts that the Lord has given us, and this is where the Lord has uh, placed us to serve, and, and we've sought to do that and to set an example for our children, our family, and our brothers and sisters. And we're just really thankful for this church. As uh, was others have said that, you know, we've grown uh, greatly through it, through the preaching and teaching of God's word faithfully, and through just uh, God challenging us to continue to serve him and to give more of ourselves. And it's a way to, to show love and, and, uh, and express our love to, to the church. And that's the way God planned it. Uh, I, I'm just reminded of the verse where, uh, Jesus uh, says that uh, that uh, this is by, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples by the love that you have for each other, and I believe that that love is is mostly expressed by the body uh, caring for itself. I think First Corinthians twelve talks about that, and it, I'm just really thankful for this church and for the the impact uh, the pastor and his wife has been in my life, my children's lives, the life of my wife, and uh, we're just very thankful for Bethel. And we just we're we're, uh, we're thanking the Lord for His continued work, and uh, our desire is not only that Bethel will continue uh, through our lifetime, but even beyond that God will continue to use it here at Sheepshead Bay for His glory. My name is Mimi. Um, I when I started this church, I was young believer, and I learned a lot. And uh, in this church, I I was baptized in this church as well as my three kids. We were baptized in here, and I'm just so blessed to have to be part of this church. And the teaching is very solid, Bible-believing church. And I'm just glad to be here until now. And we continue to come to church, to this church, because this is where my spiritual life started. And I'm just thankful that God brought us here. Good afternoon. My name is Ted Feimer. I uh, came to be a member of Bethel by divine intervention. I was saved for quite a while and attending a church that completely disbanded. I was desperate. 
find a place to worship. <laughs> By chance, a friend of mine told me that he had just come off the subway in Sheepshead Bay and ambled by a street where he heard two fervent pastors preaching the gospel. Pastor, <clears throat> he told me that it's a church I might want to investigate. Being desperate for a church, the very next Sunday I came to Bethel, which was situated in a very small uh, storefront. It looked, uh, it looked <laughs> unappealing to me. But yet when I walked in, I heard a sermon from both Pastor Bickle and Assistant Pastor um, Clark Micklewaith. I was so touched by the fervent uh, message of the, of the gospel, preached with such uh, sincerity. And uh, the community also welcomed me. And uh, my heart was just thrilled. And I knew that this was a divine appointment, that God had indeed uh, directed me to where I was. That was 25 years ago. After I had first heard that sermon, I simply never left. And what Bethel means to me, it means a little bit of heaven right here on earth. My name is Cora Salazar. My husband is Chito Salazar. We are so blessed to be here in this church for 20, 25 years, if I remember it right. And we have three children that was brought up here. And we are so blessed to have one daughter stayed with us here and serving the Lord. I can never say too much, but my life has become spiritually rich because of the teaching, which is based spiritually by God's grace, uh, based on the words of God, and with the sound doctrine, and with the bless also to have Pastor Bickel and his wife, Nancy, like our own family. And I really so blessed to have another family that blessed my family and my life. And what more can I say? I am so fulfilled spiritually, and my our our family has been put together because of the help of God and with the guidance of Pastor Bickel and Nancy. Yeah, for the last like 20, 25 years, of course, we have some differences, problems, but uh, in this church, uh, through the advice and some, we have some elders before. Uh, Pastor Michael Wade, it really helps. Uh, the team really helps uh, with our problems. And we are blessed, really. This, the church is, I didn't say like growing strong, but uh, you could see uh, like a family now. It's a family. I hope it will last another 50 years or 25 more years. And we thank God yeah. for all the blessings, my family, me and my husband, to be together and hopefully forever. In Jesus' name, thank you. We look forward to that day, the day of redemption in this church. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christine Trevelyan. I have been coming to Bethel for a little more than two decades. Um, it's kind of a funny story how I got here. Uh, my brother started coming to this church before me and uh, he would always invite us, uh, my mom and I, and uh, we would come to see the kids do their Patch the Pirate performance. And we would come in, watch the performance, and then right away we would leave. One day in 2002, I heard a message. Pastor Bickle preached and my heart was just touched. I raised my hand to say that I wanted to know more. It was September 27th, uh, 2002, that I accepted the Lord as my Savior. Um, one month later, I was served with papers uh, for custody. My uh, former, we were in the process of getting a divorce and he filed um, for custody of both of our children. At first, I was really angry with the Lord, just saying, wow, I just got saved, and 
this is the thanks that I get. I was, I was really angry. But I continued to come to church and I was asking for prayer for uh, the outcome of the custody trial that went on for really six years. And during that time, I was depending on the prayers of others. It wasn't until the Lord really got a hold of my heart that I got on the subway and I just said, Lord, if you give me custody of these kids, I know you've got me and I know you've got them. If you give my ex-husband custody of them, I still know that you've got me and I still know that you've got them. So whatever your will is, so be it. And I was praying that way all the way to court and I just had so much peace over me that day. Um, a sister in the Lord uh, texted me a verse, Exodus 14, 14, and I didn't know what that was. I had to look it up and it was, um, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. We went to court that day and that was the day that it was over. The judge granted full custody to me, my two children, and uh, my former husband was given uh, visitation rights. And I just knew that it was because I put my faith in him that day. I stopped saying, um, maybe somebody else's prayers is gonna help me. It was when I said, I trust you, that it was over. And these are the kinds of things that you learn at Bethel. You learn how to pray. You learn how to depend on one another and lean on one another. That's why I love this church so much. It's like no other place in the world. I, I would never go anywhere else. Hi, my name is Fred Brackison. I've been a member of uh, Bethel Baptist Church for uh, 12 years. I love coming here. Uh, the community is very accepting of people. Uh, everybody is very friendly, very welcoming. It's a Christ-centered uh, community. Pastor Bickle teaches the Bible the way, it, the way I feel it should be uh, taught. It's just everybody accepts you just the way you are. I, it's been a pleasure uh, being a member of the of the church. I've been to other churches, uh, but I I haven't learned as much as I learned here. I really come up with a good view of the Bible, a good understanding of of your faith, and uh, I I find up with a personal relationship with Jesus. You know what Jesus means to you. I'm just uh, just really enjoy being here. I really enjoy the, uh, the fellowship and, uh, and, the, uh, and the sermons that, that Pastor makes. Uh, and also we have, uh, we have a lunch at 12 o'clock and uh, we also have a second service. And uh, we have also Wednesday services. So I think uh, everything uh, falls into place it's really a nice, friendly community. And uh, we, re we try to reach out to other people to, to show them uh, what a faith-based community means. It's really changed my life. It uh, gave me new friendships and new, uh, and new worth as an individual. And I highly recommend uh, this church. Hi, my name is Suzanne, and I've been a part of Bethel Baptist for over 20 years now. This church means the world to me. I went through a very difficult time. My husband was diagnosed with leukemia at the same time that I was in the middle of a bed rest pregnancy and later gave birth to a child with Down syndrome. During that time, my church provided so much support in the form of transportation, meals, my pastor and his wife um, babysitting. My pastor um, visited my husband daily at the hospital, and that meant so much to my husband. It brought him so close to the Lord, and my husband later said that he wouldn't trade leukemia for anything because it brought him closer to the Lord. And I'm so indebted to this church, 
for living out the life of Christ and making it real to my husband, myself, and my children. And I'm a member, and I plan to always be a member. Thank you. My name is Jean Rudder. I've been coming to Bethel for many years, and Bethel family is very special and very precious to me. There's one moment in particular that I'd like to testify of. My daughter got married here uh, eight years ago, and it was the only wedding that ever took place here at the, the church. And uh, it was special because my husband, who uh, was dying of cancer, gave my daughter away. And uh, there were many people in my, my earthly family here, as well as in my spiritual family. And uh, the uh, emotions ran very high that day. And um, my earthly family, I think, was um, upset and sad because they knew he was dying. But my spiritual family was um, rejoicing because he had recently been saved after um, many years of uh, praying for him. And so it was uh, this very uh, poignant moment for me to witness the power of God's ability to answer our prayers for s after so many years. And that it was really, uh, the speaker spoke about the, uh, the roots, the Jewish roots of marriage and how um, Jesus is uh, the bridegroom and we're the bride. So it was um, a wonderful time. And um, a few months later, we had his memorial here. So that's my testimony about Bethel. Hi, my name is Magda Albanese, a.k.a. Dr. A. So I've um, been uh, um, attending Bethel for over two decades. And um, I raised my family here, and um, I'm standing here with uh, one of my children. And um, so being at Bethel, it's, uh, it's life-changing in and, uh, and the, and the social way and more so physical, uh, spiritual. And um, so on, sitting under the leadership of uh, Pastor Vigo, learning the Bible and uh, knowing the true meaning of God's word means a lot to Pastor Vigo and therefore means a lot to all of us and those of us who really want to know the word of God. And uh, so I've always wanted to know the word of God in depth. And uh, when Pastor Vigo explains the Bible, he explains it in a way that um anyone would understand if you are seeking to know God personally and saying that um, this this church is my home I call it and uh, family that we have here the unity the love the support and uh, it's obvious uh, and to the point that you know, when you come to church on Sunday or Wednesday or anytime we have any gathering people don't want to leave and, and um, so that's the kind of church that um, this um, church is and um, what what brought me to Bethel? Well, uh, I was saved before I came to Bethel. But uh, I had um, my family and we didn't have a church to go to. And uh, one particular summer, they were handing out tracks for the Summer Adventure Club. And um, a truck was given to us. And uh, we came and we stopped by uh, to check it out. And then we found that the love was so immense and it was so pure. And uh, that's how I know that this is the church that I was looking for and um, I've been here since then and I can't I can't fathom going to any other church beside Bethel. My name is Jennifer Albanese. I've been coming to this church for 23 years. I found out about this church from uh, Flyer Summer Adventure Club. Um, this church is like a second home to me and it's such a blessing to come and fellowship with brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it really is, for me, a foreshadowing of what heaven will be like one day. My name is Mary Cedeno, and I have been at Bethel for almost 18 years. Uh, growing up, I never really went to church. I was saved as a teenager and never really discipled, didn't really know my Bible. Um, and one day, the Lord just really gripped my heart with the idea that I needed to know Him. So I prayed for a church, um, didn't know anything about what specifically to ask for. I just knew it needed to be somewhere close by, somewhere where I can bring my children. At the time, I had two. And um, just that the Lord would open the doors for my personal situation to be able to attend church. And he did all of that, just providentially, different circumstances led me to Bethel, and I've been here ever since. I was just really seeking God, 
um, wanting to know him in a deeper way. I didn't really connect or intend to connect with people here. Um, I had, I guess, my own false thinking about uh, churchgoers, and I didn't want to get uh, distracted by that. I just wanted to hear God's word and grow in him. Um, but I really was just the love of God in the people at Bethel just drew me to them. And I have just loved them as my family. God has given me a physical family, and he's given me a spiritual family at Bethel. Um, over the years, I would say my children have grown, especially my oldest now, who is 22, going to get married um, to, to a boy who she met here. Uh, we know their family very well. She went to Sunday school with him and then went to college with him. And so they were raised at Bethel, and now they are going to get married at, in very soon. So God blessed them greatly. Um, I've seen just the growth in my own walk with the Lord, um, and I've also experienced miracles through just being led of Him and how how the church at Bethel has really supported me throughout um, these years, especially more recently, I would say. Um, I've really needed support during a difficult time in my life, and I've had women, even one that I'm speaking to right now, step up and just show the love of God and just been there to um, not only support me, but also played a key role in the salvation of different family members. Um, and so I just, I'm just so grateful for God putting me here. Um, I know it's His will for me to stay here and continue to be fed by the preaching. Um, I'm so grateful for my pastor, who at first I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, love a pastor. I wanted to love God, but I love my pastor because he has just been so faithful in his walk. Um, his family has just evidenced God's grace and love and care as a shepherd. Um, he's guided us. And he's just been so overwhelmingly um, concerned about our spiritual walks. And I just, I think I might cry <laughs> because I'm just so grateful for everything that this church family has done to bless me and how God has used them in my life. Hi, my name is Roseanne, and I'm very happy to be part of Bethel Baptist Fellowship. I've uh, started attending in 2007 and I became a member in 2011 and I'm so blessed to be part of a fellowship where the Word of God is preached and I am so blessed to be in a community of believers uh, who care about me and I grow here. I'm able to grow here in my relationship with the Lord. And the Lord is honored here and worshiped here. And He is present here. And that's the most important thing for me. I hope you'll come and visit us. You'll be very welcome at Bethel. And I've been coming to Bethel for a very, very long time. And my family, my two children and myself was coming. And it was a blessing to see the, the diversity of the congregation and the love and the sweet fellowship they have among one another. And it just drew me close to the Lord because I know if the earthly family could do so, what more about the spiritual family? So I thank God for this church and the fellowship that we have. And I thank God for the pastor and his wife. And I appreciate everything that they have done for me in the past. And I thank God for them. So thank God for my pastor. My name is Sharon Afa Emmanuel. I've been coming to Bethel Baptist for over 14 years. I got baptized here in 2010. It was me and my husband the same day. And um, Pastor Biko was the one who baptized us. And I remember all three of us coming to this church. It has been a blessing to us in the neighborhood and my family. I was introduced here to Bethel Baptist by Sharon White, who's my best friend. 
and um, we've been through a lot. And also, I remember during Hurricane Sandy, Pastor had us stayed at his house for a few days, and Mrs. Bickle and Pastor, they really came through for us, and also the church family, all through this time. And I've been blessed, and I've learned to continue to serve the Lord, no matter what happens, keep focus and keep my eyes on Him. Yeah. 